months later. A scandal, to put it mildly, about, about Tadaki losing his job because of pretending to be someone else, was still the main topic of college talks. If anything good came out of all of that, it was the fact that everyone was extra careful who they confided in. All things considered, we were okay. Akko was alive and kicking, having in mind that the fact her heart was broken. She found a cure, her job. We talked less and less about Tadaki, and I knew she was finally over him. I feel great today! I passed the exam I've been studying for months! One can only think straight with a clear mind. Congratulations, Akiko. You know what makes me happy? The fact that we are going to pay our next year tuition all by ourselves. My mom will be thrilled. My parents won't let me pay all by myself. If they let me do that, they can't say, we paid for your college. Let them be parents. Use your money for shopping. Hmm, nice. What are you reading? You haven't checked the social networks today? Everybody's talking about a freshman party. Why is the party limited to first year students only? It's an unwritten rule. But everyone brings something else, usually upperclassmen. The important thing is that it's in your honor. What about you, Akiko? Will you go to the party? No, I went to one last year. I came, I saw. Are you sure? It'd be a great opportunity to, f to find a younger guy and bring him as your date. <laughs> thanks, I'll pass. If you were single, I'd take you as my date. I'd show you that we don't need guys to have fun. Fine, you win. I won't tease you anymore. I'm just messing with you. I'll keep you company while you while you choose your outfit for that special evening. I'll need a dress for the occasion. Something I haven't worn until now. What are we waiting for? We came to the mall armed with a good mood. However, since the season of the end of the school year party started, the, the retailers raised their prices. Beautiful evening dresses were in the shop windows, but but every such dress was way too expensive for us. Where's Hiroki now, when we need him the most? I sent him a bunch of texts. He didn't answer either one of them. Why did you text him? To secure a discount, as always. You should dress for this special occasion. No, Akiko, don't ask for a discount. I'm ashamed. He's done so much for us. He'll think we're just using him. Doesn't matter. He's not answering my text either way. Let's look around first. Maybe we can find something that we can afford. Look at that dress in the window. They didn't put a price, but it looks perfect. Why not? They can't charge us for trying it on. That's right. Follow me, girl. Walk confidently and act as if you can afford it. We went into the exclusive clothes shop and started looking at the dresses. We tried to look serious and not too delighted. The seller sized us up and decided not to approach us. She doesn't even want to ask us whether we need some assistance. Great! Even better! We can try on dresses in peace! I found the one from the window! Akiko ran to the booth and changed. I... I heard a disappointment cry. What's wrong, Akiko? I'm too short for this dress. It's all over the floor and I look like I put a sack on. It'll be perfect for you. She passed me the silk dress and... And I took it carefully not to damage the silky fabric. I never had a chance to wear something like that. The most expensive detail on the dress was definitely the pearl straps. Wow, Akiko. These must be real pearls. Look at the price. Yes! I'll be green with envy if it looks good on you. I'll try on another dress. We went into the changing rooms and I carefully hanged the dress. 
I put it over my head and and let the silky fabric slip onto my body. I looked like a goddess in it. Akiko peeked into the changing room and was left speechless. I'm stunned! Snap a picture before you take it off! Hurry up! There's the sa- Akiko hurried back to her booth so, so she would avoid the unpleasant talk with the seller. And my hands started shaking from anxiety. I tried taking off the dress by pulling it over my head and and I accidentally tore one of the straps. It snapped. The pearls fell onto the floor and were rolling around my feet. Bummer. I hear the cellar. I heard the cellar approaching my booth asking whether everything was okay. I had to think fast bec because she must have heard the pearls falling onto the floor. I quickly kicked them into the adjacent booth and told the seller that everything was perfect. I folded the dress so she could not see it with the it was ruined and returned it to its spot. Ugh, I got away with it. I might have gotten away with it, but Akiko got the dirty end of the stick. The seller noticed the pearls in her booth and and demanded an explanation immediately. No, I didn't do it! I don't know what you're talking about! There must have been a misunderstanding. As you can see, the dress I chose doesn't even have pearls. The seller made a tisk sound as a sign of disapproval and and went to inspect the other booths. What happened? Are those the pearls from the dress you tried on? Yes, I accidentally tore one of the straps. Let's get out of here, stat! Why? Not me, I have to pay the full price because I ruined it. Crud, and I thought my day was getting better. At least you got away with it. We went out of the shop slowly and calmly, pret pretending that we didn't care, but but in fact, we brokenheartedly left the dress we couldn't afford. Ugh, Akiko, I'm so ashamed because of what happened. We're not the first nor the last to, co to come to that shop just to try on the dress. They're used to it. Hiroki will be crazy mad at us. You leave him to me. We'll take a break and then continue to look around. Wait for me here. I'll bring us some coffee. Double shot for me, please. I'll need energy because I see we're not getting out of this mall anytime soon. Sure, I'll be right back. Hey, look! What a coincidence! We stopped in front of the costume shop. That's a fine way to kill some time until I get back. <laughs> Yes, we've been crazy lucky with trying on clothes. So what? We're having the time of our lives! Akiko dashed to the vending machine and... And I used the opportunity to text my boyfriend and... And tell him all about my day. I missed him.
While Akiko and I were on a mission of finding a perfect dress, the guys had their own way of having fun. Of course, it was a secret. And what happens if Akiko and she decide to drop by your place after they're done shopping? Oh, busted. Laugh all you want. It's a good thing she texted me. If she had called me and heard me yelling, I wouldn't have gotten away with it. So she isn't suspecting anything? No, but I almost got in trouble because of you. Just try to take my phone again, I dare you. You'll see what happens with your phone. The cat will eat it. Well, I just wanted to take a look. You're so naive. Poor you. You made me type all sorts of things. I had to lie to my girlfriend that I caught a cold. You want to tell me that what we are planning is not a lie? That's different. We're running out of time. We should get going. Any word from Akiko? Are they still at the mall? Yes, don't worry. Okay, let's get down to business. A few days later, I still didn't have the dress for the party, but I, but I couldn't stress over it. However, Akiko was there to remind me. She wouldn't stop talking about how that dress was perfect for me. That's why I wasn't amazed when she gave me a surprise a few days later. I did something! I hope you won't get mad! If you knew I would get mad, why did you do it? Ugh, Akiko... Wait till you see it! Close your eyes! I listened to Akiko and close my eyes. I heard her open the drawer. Hold on a minute! What have you been hiding in the drawer? You can look now! Akiko was standing in front of me, holding the dress. She was excited to see my reaction. I came closer, confused, to take a better look. Akiko, you must have spent an entire fortune on this dress? I went back to the store and talked to the sales girl. She agreed to rent it for a reasonable price if I repaired the damage. And you did it? But it must have cost an arm and a leg. Not as much as the dress is really worth. I wanted you to have it, and, and I couldn't miss out on such a great bargain. I love this crazy side of you. However, I'm not sure I can accept it. I can take it back repaired, and it will cost nothing. But please do me a favor and at least try it on before you decide. I'll do it. I want to see myself again in that dress. I put on the dress carefully this time, and I could feel this, the silky fabric gliding down my body. What a feeling! Akiko, you're amazing! It, it's worth every penny. You could match up to Hollywood celebrities in that dress! You'll have all eyes on you at the party! Your boyfriend's jaw will drop when he, when he sees you! I won't let him see me before the party because I want to sweep him off his feet. I'm so excited. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Sometimes in life, all you need is a little nudge to do, to do something that you wouldn't have dared otherwise. Even spend some money without planning to. I get it now. The night of the party, I, I put on my perfect dress and once again looked at myself in the mirror before going out. Was that pretty babe really me? The buzzing sound of the intercom notified me that my driver had arrived. There was a limo waiting for me in front of the building. The driver opened the door and my boyfriend came out. The sparkle in his eyes when he saw me in that dress was totally worth the effort. You're my goddess. Your beauty is surreal. Hey handsome, you don't look so bad yourself. And? What do you think about my new image? You made me fall in love with you again. Yes! Mission accomplished. Uh, I know I look good, but I'm not used to wearing clothes this tight. Hold on, soldier. Anything for you, sweetheart. Before we go, I'd like to give you a present. I admit it, I wanted to surprise you. 
So I convinced Akiko to take you shopping. But... You what? You and Akiko worked behind my back? Yes, and it was worth it. You look stunning. And I have something here which will complete your outfit. He opened a jewelry box he was holding in his hands. It was the most beautiful and the most valuable present I had ever gotten. Under the streetlights, it sparkled. I felt as if I touched it, it would disappear. Thanks, love. I can't believe you bought it for me. I... I have never had such a beautiful necklace. Its beauty is out of this world. I'm afraid to touch it. Let me help you put it on. It'll suit you perfectly. My girlfriend deserves only the best. He took the necklace and put it around my neck. He gently pressed the clasp and laid his lips on my neck. He turned me towards him and kissed me, satisfied with my dazzling appearance. Now, my princess, let's conquer the dance floor. We entered the hall packed with students who were in a great mood. The band was playing amazing songs and the crowd was on fire. The energy in the room was so hypnotic that that I felt like it was pulling us to the dance floor. In the heat of the moment, my boyfriend took me by the waist, lifted me up, and slowly put me back down on the ground. Don't be scared. I'm not gonna drop you. Believe me, sweetie, I'm more afraid to lo lose this necklace than end up on the floor. Haha, <laughs> you know what? I love the fact that other girls are jealous of you. I wonder, do they want my necklace or do they want you? I don't think they can have either. The crowd went silent for a moment in anticipation of the next song. The crowd went silent for a moment in anticipation of the next song. We recognized it. It was one of my favorite ballads. I wrapped my arms around his neck and we started dancing. His heartbeat was so fast and and regular, revealing how excited and scared he was. You're trembling. Are you tired? No, I've been mustering up the courage to ask you something. But as the evening goes by, I'm getting more nervous. So, I'm just gonna say it. I want to experience everything with you. And I know it's probably gonna sound scary, but... Go ahead, tell me. I don't care if it's too soon. But I want to go to sleep and wake up next to you every day. I want us to take the next step and start living together. I say yes, of course, my love. I, I want to live with you. Phew, I'm relieved now. And so happy. You make me happy. I look forward to our mornings together. But I gotta warn you. Don't tell me you're sleepwalking and that you'll leave in the middle of the night. <laughs> no, I warn you that I, that I might not let you get out of the bed that easily. Ah, I can handle that. I'll take that risk. I love you more than words can say! I love you too. He hugged me and I put my head on his shoulder. We stayed at the dance floor to the late night hours, happy that we had each other. We left all our troubles behind, re ready to dedicate ourselves completely to our relationship. That night, there was no one else but us in the entire world. After the party, Katsumi and I went to the place from which we could watch the sunrise. We were sitting there hugging and happy about the decision to live together. Lots of adventures and challenges awaited us, but everything seemed easier with the person I loved by my side. Akiko was happy for us and supported our decision. We continued studying and working to save, save enough money and start our own company. Katsumi used his developer knowledge to, to secure a better future for us. While I was studying and improving my professional skills to follow in my dad's footsteps. In the near future, my dream came true. My life
life was filled with love, just like my mother had always wanted. And when I looked up at that sky, I knew that my dad would be proud of me too.